What is going on everybody? This is Nerdvault back at it again with some more Fallout 4 shenanigans. Well, I have been leveling up a little bit and you'll find this out later on in the episode. But I went ahead and uh, got my affinity up with Kate and whatnot. Up about two levels I think. And I'm going to play those in a couple minutes or whatever. But I'm recording this after the fact of this episode. Because I completely forgot about the Kate thing. And this... I hope you realize how much you did for us. Shut the fuck up. Again, that's all back. I don't know why. It's really pissing me off. But I got my affinity up, and I'll show those videos of with her. And yeah, and then we'll start the episode, and I'll do my intro again because I forgot all about this. And I will see you all whenever we start it over in the episode again, or whatever type thing. Okay, off to it. Of course, anything you need. Anything I need, huh? I might take you up on that one day. After Tommy stuck me with you, I was expecting to hate your guts. Not only because you've agreed to pick up me contract, but because I was waiting for you to order me around like hired help. Now, so far, you've been treating me like a friend. Hell, you've been damn near nice to me. Now, I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but your kindness is starting to make me wonder if there's anything I learned in the combat zone. It was that nobody does things for other people without expecting something in return. Exactly. Time to pay up. Cute. Real cute. I spent three years living at the combat zone. Smelled like puke and piss. But I called it home. I was making a few caps. Had me own bed to sleep in and three hot meals a day. Then the raiders took over the place. You know that lot. You aren't exactly what you'd call the gentle type. After they moved in, if you didn't keep looking over your shoulder, you were liable to get sucker punched or robbed. Or worse. Didn't take me long to learn that I had to put my hard-earned caps to good use. Buying friends was essential to making life easy. So, I guess I'm waiting for you to hand me a bill. You know what I mean? You don't owe me a thing. Now I'm having a real hard time believing that. I'll tell you what. Give me some time and I'll think of something I can do to repay you. I'm not a rich girl, but I'm sure we can agree on something. Ooh, whew, muy caliente. Wow. Yeah, that's hot. That's hot. Yeah. After all, what are friends for? Of course. What's on your mind? Appreciate it. We've been on the road together for a while. And we've taken some hard knocks. But through all that crap, I notice you've always been sticking by me. You know, watching me back and making sure I don't do anything stupid. I think maybe it's time to tell you a little bit about who you're traveling with. There's no reason for us to keep acting like we're strangers. I appreciate your trust. Well, you're the first to earn it. It all starts with two ways of humanity I suppose you could call me parents. I'm convinced I was a mistake because I can't remember a single moment that they treated me like their daughter. I was yelled at and beaten. Everything I did was wrong. Nothing but a nuisance in their eyes. The whole time I was telling myself that they had to love me, even if it was just the tiniest bit, because they never kicked me out. Then me 18th birthday arrived, and I found out why they kept me around. They slapped a shock collar around me neck and sold me to slavers. They didn't even care enough about me to say goodbye. 18 years of suffering through that shite, and all I was worth to them was a pocket full of caps. My God, I'm so sorry. Thanks, but there is more to the story. It would be easy to blame me charm and personality on me parents, but they didn't make me this way. I did. I was with those slavers for five years. Roughest five of me goddamn life. The things they made me do. The way they use me for their amusement. It sickens me to me stomach even thinking about it. But I bided me time and learned to use their own methods against them. Stealing a few caps out of a sleeping man's pocket is a piece of cake. As long as you don't get greedy. I can't even imagine having to go through something like that. You think that's low? Just wait. The story gets much worse. 
It took every ounce of patience I had. But after five years, I had finally pocketed enough to buy me own way out of there. But instead of heading off to try and repair the shambles of me life, I gave in to me rage and I headed home. You can imagine the look on me parents' faces when I kicked open their door. What you can't imagine is what they looked like after. After I emptied me gun into them. Sounds like justice to me. Was it justice? Or was it murder? When I close me eyes, all I can see is their faces twisted with fear. And then my mind starts wandering and I start judging myself. And it's ripping me the fuck apart. You think I inject myself with all that shite and drink myself drunk because I'm a tough Irish girl. I do it so I can forget and move on with my miserable life. So there you are. The entire flawed package known as Kate. Stripped bare for your perusal. I'm proud of you. I knew I was taking a chance telling you all this. But I never expected you to say you were proud of me. I... I, I think I needed to hear that from you. Thank you. I'm always here for you, Kate. There's nothing you can say that would ever change that. Oh, ah, uh, I, well, that's, that's not what I expected you to say. Sorry, I didn't realize you cared that much about me. And here I thought I was being stupid bothering you with me problems. It feels good to know if I need you, you'll be there for me. And I'll always be there for you too. Steamy. What is going on everybody? This is Nerdvault back at again and with some more Fallout 4 shenanigans. Well, we should be actually be doing pretty good. After we go Take ahead and talk to Preston, we'll go ahead and finish the intro. Sure, go ahead. When we first met, I admit, I had my doubts about you, but you've done nothing but impress me. You're just who the Minutemen needed to bring us back from the brink. Thanks. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. You've probably realized by now how important the Minutemen are to me. When I was a kid, the Minutemen were my heroes. They were the only good guys around, really. When I right. turned 17, I joined up with Ezra Hollis's company. He was one of the good ones. Really believed in the old-time Minuteman way. We had a few good years there. I felt like I was part of something bigger than me. Like I was really helping make the Commonwealth a better place. Well, that's good. It sounds like you were really making a difference. I think we were. I know we were. But obviously it didn't last. I'm sure there was a lot I didn't see or know enough to pay attention Market to. Microphone adjustment. You know, the politics and rivalries and bad blood between the different groups. I guess General Becker was able to keep a lid on it. Keep everyone more or less on the same team. But after he was killed, it all came out in the open. I couldn't believe it at first. These guys were supposed to be Minutemen. They were supposed to put their duty to the people ahead of everything else. You probably think I was pretty naive, huh? I guess I was. Still am, too. Even after everything, I still believe that the Minutemen can be what I always thought they were. The good guys. Hmm. Well, why are you telling me all of this? I guess I'm just trying to say thank you, if that makes any sense. Thank you for being different than most everyone else I've run across. Anyway, I appreciate you taking the time to listen. No, oh, oops. Uh, sure, sarcastic. We don't have to hug now, do we? Nah, I'm not really a hugger. We'd probably better get back to it. Good, okay. Now that we've got that over with, we're gonna go ahead and go to Quincy like I said we was going to do. And hopefully the video is actually gonna be of higher video noise and whatnot. Like, unlike the past all episodes. Well, I went ahead and upgraded a little bit. We're at level 33. And level 30 was in Gunnut. 31 was in Blacksmith. 32 was in Charisma. And 33 was in Locksmith. So, <clears throat> we got that going for us. 34 is going to be in Hacker. Where is it at? Where is it? Is it? There it is. Right there. I'm going to get Master Terminals and then... 
Locksmith has fallen behind. I don't know how that happened at all. Maybe because we, on the buddy episode, we had to do that. Well, we're going to go to Quincy. And look at this Peabody house. I've already went through here. Because I was going to, like, stake it out and everything. And this is what I had to do. I had to put it on very easy. Just so I could play through it. I died every single time. So now we're back on normal. And I've been addicted to Psychojet. Because I've been with Kate and whatnot. And it actually helped a lot. So we've been doing that. Going back to Quincy. See what he says. And I'll show you all what I found. What? They're back again? Damn it. big old explosion there. Now last time I was here, that was literally like a day in this, in the game. There was Minutemen everywhere. Oh, that looks cool. I'm taking that and that. You should get going. Are you telling me that they're back already? Damn it. Oh yeah. Wait, what's my wait at? Uh, 245. Eh, not good, but not bad either. Okay, quick save. And if it's still hard, we're going to bump it back down to very easy. Because this is really fucking hard. Should have been swarmed by now. There was actually people here. But I guess not. There's a diner. Cool. So we are in Quincy right now. Or Preston has anything to say. Damn it. Hey. Okay. What is it? Uh, Your shots? It looks peaceful now, but you never know what's around the next corner. That's all. No problem. Remember, like I said, about uh, Marcy and June Long's son? This is where it all t went down. See, there's even bodies. Spines. Skulls. Miscellaneous. Everywhere. I'm trying to find the general store. Because that's where June and Marcy Long worked at. Hmm. Don't worry. Oh, there it is. Super Duper Martin. I believe that's it. Go ahead and take that. Ooh, almost tripped into that one. Rads. I know we're radical, but... Ooh. Hmm. I know they've worked in... somewhere around in here. You know, Hmm. Maybe a little bit more exploring. We'll find it. Maybe this is a police terminal. Book return. Return or do books. Yes. Yay! Spin tokens. What can we get? What can we get? Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing we have nine tokens. No, it's just okay. Fuck that. 
We'll look at that later. But first, we're going to go into the police jail. <clears throat> Hello? Is there anyone here? Looks like it would be filled with things. Uh, I thought I could hit it and be out. Locker. Police evidence terminal. What's in there? Remote door. Open it. Good. Sounds like we did something. Okay, cigar box. Take that shit. Ooh, a ladle. Oh, he was trying to dig his way out. I guess after the bombs, he tried to get out. First aid. Nice. Nice. Okay, whiskey bottles. Looks like there was nothing of importance down here. Except for that cool little thing with the guy. He just fucking walked through that. <gasps> What's this? Overdue book. Sweet. We can return and get more. Oh, we're not going to do that. Hmm. Outside. What the hell? The only way you get old in this job is to assume everyone's out to kill you. I about, I, apparently, because I about shot you. Okay. This is where the graveyard is. And if you look around, there's only one fresh grave, and that's probably where they buried, uh, I think it was Kyle. Kyle Long. And look, there's flowers, no headstone, just a piece of board, toy truck, and a beer bottle. Yep. So that's where they buried Kyle. The hell is that? A dog. It might just be a caravan thing. What the fuck was that? This is gonna be fun. I think I got something. We've got company. What the fuck did you get here? Okay. Shotgun shell. Good. Toilet. Excellent. Shovel. Now where's pail? We haven't found pail yet. Nothing. Whoa. Door. Bar. Can we go up and around and bring it around town? What the hell is this? This may have been it. Terminal, unlock it. Hell yeah, we're gonna unlock it. Where's that? Falling. That's it. Yes, that's it. Did you find anything useful? No, nope, nothing yet. Ooh, a suit. DC card. Ooh, DC card helmet. Mining helmet. Sure. Armor pad. Like Too exposed. Well, I'm sure he. I don't even know where the hell he is. Bowling pins. Duct tape. Gun. Blowtorch. I thought for sure this was going to be it. Ew. Ew. Looks like a family lived here.
so I'm hoping we can find it. If not, I'm just going to fast forward through a little bit until we do or give up. Sturgis is terminal. Got a new project. A nice bit of information there. Looks like this was Sturgis's place. And Sturgis's bed. Okay, we're gonna take some of this stuff for Sturgis. Especially this plunger. Damn it. Take the plunger. Screwdriver. I hear gunshots, but I don't know where they're coming from. Nothing in the safe. I may have already looted it. Alright, we need some action right now. Starting to get a little bit dull. And then we'll go to that extra piece. You gotta be joking. It's all normal, okay. Yeah, I increased it while I was just roaming around. Well, I hope you do. Like we need some aid. And yes, some pack. Nothing to worry about. Okay. <laughs> There's the health bar. Anything in here? Nope. Ah. <gasps> I missed every single shot. Slaw. <laughs> Sniper rifle. Mine. No. Uh, Fifteen over. Damn. Okay. Uh, weapons. Saw rifle. Piercing. Don't need that. No. Damn it. I wanted to throw it out. Okay. Hogany baseball bat. Don't need that. Fuck those. Where are these people at? Playing games with me, huh? I don't know, I don't even know where you are. Gosh, shot ya. 
Well, I guess we found Vault 88. Oh, thank God. Where are these motherfuckers at? Maybe in there? Those were hurt my legs. Oh, there you go. <laughs> the hell is... I think we're good for right now. <clears throat> okay, that was pretty good. Well, we're gonna go ahead and look at that one thing that was over here. And all those cyclo jets that, uh, that you see me use, they weren't for me just cheating and doing them. I actually made them using the fertilizer and everything like that. We're making the jet and the cycle, then putting them together, making the, the cycle jet. And that's what got me up a pretty good ways. I mean, of leveling. Yeah. Okay. I really don't know where Marcy Long's thing is. I really don't. Hmm. <laughs> oh, right axis is worn off. Ew. Y'all hear that buzzing, right? That's probably just those little small flies. Ooh. Hollis's terminal. Same defenses, search for betrayed. Who was betrayed? Okay, I guess that's it. Ooh, many nukes. Get the fuck out of my way, trash can. Never been over here. Bitch, please. I hear it. Oh. I heard a chemistry set. And I have recently finished freaking bad, just so everyone knows. And it was good. I thought they would have killed each other off at the very end. But, oh well. Oh no, it's a radical storm. It's coming. Oh, there it is. Peabody Farm or something like that. Full of ghouls, I'm guessing. Peabody. We're Sherman. Uh, <clears throat> that's close enough. Fuck you. Not very friendly, are you? We've survived no, this far not. by being careful. Move along, stranger. We don't need anything you've got, and we don't have anything you might want. Bullshit. You have your life. Hey there. Yes. Well, it's nice that they have stayed together all these years. 
It actually really is nice. Steel caps almost. Ooh, what is that factory? Wait, it's probably... Yeah, it's the, uh... Not oh, crap. It's a station thing. I can't remember the name of it. No, it's not. Poseidon Energy. Never heard of it. Ooh, spotlights. I think I got him. Well, we're not going to do that. Well, well, I did have a little plan for us to do. Uh, let's see. Kill the raiders at that place. Where the fuck is it? Hmm. Yeah, we'll do that and then we'll call it the end of the episode. I know there's been a lot of talking on this episode. And all that junk, so... Ooh. Where the hell are we? Some electronics. Gravel and sand. Okay. Ooh, a car over there. I think there's a bunch of super mutants or something. Or what not? Liza. Minnelli? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's where that happened. Baromaton, the first thing. I had trouble thinking of it for a second. Please forgive me. Ooh, spooky. Huh, Bunker Hill. Huh? This is gonna be fun! <laughs> oh. I thought I heard something. So did I. Oh, this is it. gun exploded. And hopefully now... Huh? What? Legendary rare. Look. Jumping him in there, perfect. And away we go. Oh, Preston, there you are. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that uh, radiation. Right away. Now I'm gonna just stand back on more of those in the water. Exploded. Good. Yeah, you're probably right. Gotta get down at the gym. <coughs> what the? Where are you?
Where is Sparta at? There he is. Okay. This thing just looked awesome. I'll take a stem back. Sweet. Pretty handy with a bobby pin. I'm not saying anything, but the way he said said that. Ooh, Shesky. It sounded like he said uh, said it. Like with a gay what the hell was that? tone or something like that. I think I got I'm not saying nothing, it, it just, that's the way it sounded. Ooh, a magazine! Is it porn? Yes. Apparently it is porn. That is cool. I love that. Yes. Put in this locker key. Alright, we're about to level up as soon as we get this one in. And it is hazy. Always hazy. I'm in. No, oh, that's bullshit. Should be able to hear those people. Rumor is no survivors. Ain't that the truth? Look at all this. We should take as much of this as we can carry. Hell yeah. Preston York, Whoa. talk of my style. I think there's someone right there in that door. It. Nope, Nothing. apparently not. And there are a lot of locks in this place. Got it. Hello. Hmm. <gasps> a fat man. Do you see me jump for joy right there? Go oh, Preston. <gasps> Railroad spikes. A lit cigar. I need your help. I'm too Heads bad. up. What is it? I'm too fat, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to give them as much as I can. Okay. He can't carry any more. I give him anything. No, I did not. Good. Okay. Wait, there should be some more stuff in there. Uh, whiskey. Sure, we'll take some whiskey. Okay. Look, another safe. Damn. And as expert, we should be able to level up on this one. Yes. Silver table. Still not able to level up. I'll take the cigarettes. Mama Murphy likes your cigarettes. I know there's more people in here. I heard him with my own ears. A tape? Eddie Holler, or Eddie Winter, whatever. Message to Alexander Strelnikov. My esteemed Mr. Strelnikov, I know someone of your profession values discretion above all else. But I have to honestly you got say... It. Screw Finally! That. Got it. Yeah, apparently that said something. I didn't pay attention. Something about stroganoff. Ooh. You don't see us. Wait, oh, he moved his head. There you are, Fucking you little bastard. <laughs> Hear all the running blood. Anything here? Sure, we need the 
points. Yes. Starship. Was it Enterprise? No, we don't need a Protectron. We good. We good. Ooh, what's that? A folder. Nice. Oh. That's probably why I didn't couldn't find them at first. Microscope. Perfect. Now what am I supposed to do? Port at Sanctuary Hills. And then we'll level up right after we come out here and quick save. Oh, it's auto saving, so never mind. Okay, level 34. Whoops. That was my cane that fell over. While I was looking at my notes. Level 34 is gonna be in hacker. Oh, two guys. And then we shouldn't be doing anything else. Never got locked out. That don't apply to us. And then number 35 is gonna be in chemist. Yeah. That lasts 50% 50, 50 longer. Since I'm addicted to psycho buff or psycho jet. Okay, let this auto save. And then we're going to go ahead and fast travel to Sanctuary Hills. Yeah! How the hell are they, are they all the way over there? It really does make no sense why they were over there. I forgot what I was doing. Oh, that's why they were over here. She's right there. She's always worrying about people at Sanctuary. Well, she is the chief of police. Did you have any luck with those raiders? Yes, we did. I took care of those raiders for you. Really? Well, that's the best news I've heard in a long time. Good. Anything else? Only Anything at all? Is taking a bite. Am I right? Right. I haven't done anything else to Sanctuary because... I didn't really feel like it. Short and simple answer. Okay. But I have thought about what this house is gonna be. Pretty I'm sure game. this whatever the plan is. Oh, she's game. Especially after what I have to say. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm gonna turn this into like a whorehouse. The robot whorehouse. I'm gonna have like uh curry or whatever the female the female version of uh, Codsworth, run it. We'll make something of the Commonwealth yet. Or I might just go ahead and make a robot. Well, not actually make a robot, but with the uh, thing. It's uh, it's by Andrew C X. One of those mods that I have installed of his, where you can just like robot settlers. And you can actually have them with a French accent and whatnot. I just had one of them be that, and then dress them up in. So where are we off to next? We're not going anywhere. I just have them wear those frilly looking things that we have. See a bunch of beds already here. Okay. My Nothing. back hurts. My feet hurt. Everything hurts. Good. Nothing else that we're doing. I don't think. Sturgis, What's up? We found some of your stuff. Back in Quincy, I'm going to go ahead and put it in your room. And we'll look at that in the next episode. Okay. Well, I think this is going to be it. Of this exciting episode of Fallout 4. And I hope this episode is a little bit louder in the voice. whatnot, Because I increased the microphone volume. And also increased the volume for the game itself. So, it ain't on max on the volume because I didn't want... Every like every, every little swallow or anything I had like that I just did maybe I'll hear it I don't know I don't want that to showing up every little thing I did it's a dog kill it but he's running away now okay always remember this keep it fresh keep it real keep it nerdy I'll see you on the next episode take care everybody see y'all later.
Bye. I love you. Good night. Peace.